animate and procreate. Coffee cat. Snip. All right, so let's get into the uh, the work in progress of how this was made yesterday. As it's two in the morning today, I started with the background, just a simple building and a couple of arcs for the sidewalk. I wanted a kind of a skewed perspective, and uh, sort of use the buildings as my focal point uh, to draw the eyes forward as they went. And I'm like, okay, well, stairs are easy and they're easy and they they look good usually when they're set up. Plus, it's about combining straight lines with curved lines so that you have, um, you know, a natural flow to what you're doing. And I thought, well, it's a, it'd be a guttery, kind of dirty street because it's, it's a downtown city and it's, it's the seedy underbelly, so it, it's not clean. So then I'm just adding detail into the building. It's a little slow. And then I uh, check my lines, start adding in details to the main building, which is a focal point because it's in the middle of the, of the piece. And I'm like, well, it's got to have some kind of special thing. So I do stained glass and a pet bowl. And I'm like, well, what kind of pets would a cat have? I'm like, I have no idea, but there's going to be a pet bowl there. And then I thought a rock face uh, facade would be kind of cool. And then it's just detail work, adding in uh, posters and cracks in the in the paint, and you know some reinforcements for the door because we don't know if that meow is a liquor store or a coffee shop until I decided. Oh wait, it's a coffee shop. Um, yeah, and this is just me working on the background, and then I go absolutely ham on textures with this piece for some reason. I don't know why I did that. I usually don't. I usually stay with black and white. But I just found a bunch of brushes and I was like, well, let's try them. So I, I did that. And there was a couple that I really liked and one that I didn't like. And yeah, so here's painting in the sky using <laughs> a dark texture. And then... Uh, once it's cleaned up, just reducing its its uh, opacity, and then this this particular texture I really didn't like, but it's like it looked like a rock texture, so I'm like, ah, eh, it'll do for now. But you can see that I tried it a few different ways. And I'm like, eh, it's just just not what I want, not really. But what I really loved was the uh, the sorry. Uh, what I really loved was the gutter sidewalk texture. It was really just uh, just a cool find. And then here's putting up the parallax and the timing. And I started with the keyframe that I was most interested in because. For some reason, I work backwards from most important to least important, and there are some advantages and disadvantages. And for some reason, by the end of this, I actually throw my my keyframe chart away, which is the dumbest thing to do, because it's there to help. But as you can see already, you're gonna notice that his plan is to fall over. And as you've seen the 
the animation already. You know, he f falls over because he got shot by somebody. And that's Coffee Cat. That's just what happens when you go and get coffee. And, um, in this town. This, uh, Kidopolis. Yeah, and then I'm deciding, do I want to add all the way back? Do I want to just mess with the perspective and have him get, uh, crossing the line? Because I, I realized that I didn't track the whole body very well, and I should have. And, um, that's a lesson learned. Is you track all the parts of the body on all the swings in all frames of motion. Because if you don't, what you get is a lopsided mess, and that's just no good. Yeah, and then for some reason when you're tinkering with the frames or the GUI, it tends to f just hold there, so it's not as interesting as what could happen, and then it'll spark up again momentarily and just get real jittery, so seizure warning. And, uh, yeah. So, he walks over, he gets shot, he falls over, and I start painting in stuff. And, it's like, is this toilet paper or is this coffee? It's like, it doesn't matter. I mean, this was a gift for uh, my wife, whose nickname is Nettios, on the podcast that we do, at uh, anchor.fm. Slash Divergent Mind, where I read audiobooks that I've written, or Philip K. Dick books that are public domain, or other books that are public domain, which you're welcome to come listen to, if you're bored. Uh, seems to attract an, a mid-range crowd, which is totally cool. I don't know who this is going to attract, so someone with a dark sense of humor. But when we were done with it, <laughs> we were just like, oh, this might be a little too much. Because it's just so dark. And um, with the quarantine, it's like, is it martial law? Or is it is it something uh, that we can laugh at? And it's like, well, you can laugh at it if you want. Because it's just a joke. And it's just cartoon violence, and that's been around since cartoons have been around. Um, but what I was thinking is maybe perhaps having the uh, a series of these <laughs> where there's a killer on the loose who's just taking out people getting cups of coffee because they're, you know, pretentious or asinine or silly or no fun but you can see he just lays there for a while the whole point was to just let it sink in that once you're down you're down um and he's right by the gutter and then i realized oh wait i forgot something extremely important it was something like as simple as uh a headshot and that'll be coming in just a second, which you've seen already, so, yeah, there it is, the, uh, entry wound, and then I do this the most back buttward way ever, and my walk cycle is terrible, but I'm trying, it's the first one I've ever done, um, so, but I, I tried to follow the up mid down mid up down mid thing you're supposed to do where they bob but you've also got to change perspective at the same time because he's coming up this enlarged overly exaggerated curb and I think I did an okay job with that but he's just a small guy who gets uh, you know, well, it has a bad day. Could happen to anybody. And hopefully it's, this doesn't offend anybody. It's not meant to. It's just a joke. Something to do that took all day.
pass the time. And that's about it, guys. Thanks, Jay.